hello friends and welcome you all so today i am going to discuss about isoparametric element superparametric element and subparametric element okay so first let me explain you what you mean by isoparametric element so in the triangular element you can see on the screen so here there are three nodes that defining the geometry of the triangular element and at three nodes some coordinates that defining the total geometry or location of the uh, triangular elements okay or nodes and at the nodes some displacement also represent like q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 and q6 so that represent the uh, displacement of the triangular element okay so here in this uh, type of uh, problem where the number of uh, nodes that representing the geometry are equal to the number of nodes that representing the displacement so both are equal in this case okay so if both are equal then we can say it is an isoparametric element in general this type of element we will be used when there will be uh, like a curved shape where a straight line uh, we cannot adapt in that case the isoparametric element will be used right so the next one is superparametric so in this case the number of nodes that representing the geometry is more you can see there are total six uh, nodes means one two three nodes are the outer nodes and inner nodes are three so totally six nodes that defining the geometry of the triangular element okay uh, where the outer nodes like one two three this one two three so that is defining the only the displacement okay so it means the number of nodes that defining the geometry is more as compared with the number of nodes that representing the displacements are uh, okay so displacements nodes are less and geometry nodes are more so in this type of case we uh, we can say that the element is an super parametric element the next one is sub parametric element so in this case if the number of nodes used for defining the geometry is less so in this case the number of nodes are defining the geometry only 3 where in the previous case the number of nodes the defining the geometry is more and displacement is less so it is opposite to that here the number of nodes that defining the geometry is only 3 the outer one that defining the geometry whereas outer one and the inner one both are representing the displacement that q1 q2 uh, and all this q q that represent the displacement so defining the displacement is more and uh, representation of the uh, geometry is very less okay so i will clear once again here see the number of nodes that representing the geometry outer one only representing the geometry so that is less as compared with the number of nodes that representing the displacement because all the nodes are representing the displacement like outer one also and inner nodes also representing the displacement okay so 
this type of element we can say that it is a subparametric element okay thank you